Happy Easter, friends. Hey, how are all of you feeling this week? I know I'm so happy that we have had some spring weather lately and Easter is just right around the corner. But I'm sad that I haven't been able to see you or my friends in a while. You know, God created us to have feelings. I have an idea. Let's play a little game. So I'm gonna say an emotion and let's make that face, okay? So how about you show me what your happy face looks like? Ready? Yay! How about a sad face? Mm -hmm. What about a surprised face? Ready? <gasps> or angry face? I know, let's end with silly face, your best silly face, ready? <sighs> well, those are all great faces. And today, I have a book that I wanna share with you that tells the Easter story and some of the emotions that people felt on that very first Easter when Jesus died and rose again. So the story that we're gonna to read today is a very happy Easter. And on the inside, there's a little section here that I'm gonna read before we dive into our book. Ready, this is what it says. This book is a bit different from others. In most books, there is work for your eyes and your ears. You look at the picture and you listen to the words. But in this book, there's work for your face too. You will see the faces of lots of people who were there at the first Easter when Jesus died and rose again. Every time you see one, try to copy the face they are making and think about how they would have felt Let's try it. Are you ready? Let's read together. A Very Happy Easter, written by Tim Thornborough, illustrated by Jennifer Davidson. Jesus came into the city of Jerusalem. A huge, excited crowd welcomed Jesus. They knew that he was God's promised king. But some people did not want Jesus to be in charge. So they sent soldiers to arrest him. They hated Jesus because he said he was the son of God. Wow, look at those angry faces. They put King Jesus on a cross to die. Jesus's friends were very scared. Jesus died. His friends cried. They buried Jesus in a rock tomb and put a big, heavy stone over the door. Jesus' friends were so, so sad. On the third day, early in the morning, some women came to the tomb, but the stone was rolled away. Jesus was not there. They were so confused. Some angels appeared, and they said, He is not here. He is risen, just as he promised. The women were astonished. The women ran and told Jesus' friends what they had seen and what the angels had said. He is risen! But they didn't believe them. Suddenly, Jesus was right there with them. He spoke to them. He ate with them. He showed them his hands and feet. He really was alive again. Jesus' friends were startled, afraid, amazed, and confused. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. It really is me. I died and now I am alive again. Now you can be friends with God forever. Jesus' friends were happy, happier, and the happiest they had ever been in their whole lives. Then King Jesus sent his friends to tell everyone the good news. They happily spread the message all over the world. And now you have heard the message about how King Jesus died and rose again so that we can be friends with God forever. Wow.
what face will you make now? Wow, what a great story. And the best part about this story is that it's all true. We can find the story in the Bible. God sent Jesus because he loves us so, so much. He died on the cross, which was so sad. He died to take the punishment for our sins. And sin is anything that we think, say, or do that breaks God's heart. But thankfully, that's not the end of the story. We know that Jesus came alive again. And even though Jesus had told his friends that all of this would happen, they were still so surprised to see him after he died. He really was who he said he was, the Son of God who loves us and wants to be our friend forever. Friends, I hope you know just how much Jesus loves you. All you have to do is believe that he died and rose again for you, and you can be friends with him forever. What an amazing gift. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. And thank you that that's not the end of the story. You came alive again so that we could be forgiven and we could have a forever friendship with you. We can be with you forever. Thank you for loving us that much. Please be with us over the Easter holiday and be with us over the next week. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. Friends, we really miss you. And I just hope that you have a wonderful Easter together with your family. Be safe, be healthy. We'll see you soon.